Alright. Phone decided I wanted to run out of memory. Anyways, I've got the fan running now. Uh, as you can see, it's shaking my whole workbench. Um, so, let's see if y'all can see that. Okay. Let's turn that turn a little bit. Okay, now. See, I can get it. You'll know when you hit it. Okay, now there. See how the fan blade looks stop? Okay, now, right now this, this strobe is blinking once per revolution. So the fan blade appears to be stopped. It's not, <laughs> obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my strobe up to the next level. Okay, so right there. You see how you can see all four colors on each blade? That is what you're looking for. Um, so, I can tell right now by looking at this, my blue and my red wing are way back. Um, let me see if I can get you guys in a little closer here. Let's see. I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Let me show y'all a method to fix that. Let me uh, get y'all set up back here. Turn this thing off before it falls off the workbench. Turn the lights back on. Okay. So, we found out what the strobe blew and right our way back. <laughs> people call a few people crazy. I learned this trick from another fan collector, but big hunk of wood is excellent for putting blades back in clock. Like he said, a sudden shock is what put them out of clock, so a sudden shock should put them back in clock. Now, I don't go doing this with a cast hub brass blade or something like that, but these steel blades and aluminum blade Emersons, you can do this all day long. Um, so we found out blue and red are back. Blue is the back the furthest, so get right about here, you hold your blade, get it. Nice firm hold in your blade. And you you give it a couple of wax. Alright. See if we did anything. She's still shaking. It's gonna take more than once. I tell you what, that's a lot closer. Blue and red are still back a hair. Uh, actually, orange is uh, yellow is forward more than anything. I'm a, um, let's go ahead and hit yellow. Hit yellow. Hit yellow forward a little bit. Or back, excuse me. So we do the same thing, but opposite with yellow. Just get a nice square. It didn't need much. So now, from whacking it and doing all that other work, it's 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 a little far out. So let's uh, let's see. Blue, we whacked on blue. Blue is far back. And blue forward. Blue and red actually are back just a little bit. And those forward. And blue, 
glue has gotten a whole lot of pitch in it from getting wax on it. Mm. I think I just bent orange. Yep, I did bent orange. Let's see. See, we're getting a whole lot closer than we were. Alright, let's see what it looks like under the strobe. Make sure y'all still recording. Okay. Okay, so now it looks like Yella is still forward. That it's still got a little vibration to it. Uh, you know, when I talk about clock, and I, I mean, to make these things right, you got to be better than an eighth of an inch. Close. Because if they're that far out, it will make them dance. Okay. Let me see if y'all can see me here. All right, let's see. Just give it a little whack. Okay. Make sure I didn't change my, okay. Stay straight, let's see. Let's shake, shake and start up. That's getting better. This is where it becomes kind of annoying. You can get them all close, but to get them perfect is a real pain. So I'm noticing the back end of the yellow wing is it, kind of kind of tilted up a little bit as compared to the rest. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can reform that wing. Uh, you know, there's actually a bit of an arc to this. Um, it's not all just making sure they're all aligned. Um, you gotta know what to bend and how much to bend because if you start just wailing on blades, it's not gonna turn out good. So yellow needs to come. Oh, she opened the hub. Okay, yellow actually needs to be reformed just a hair. trying to do is get yellow uniform with the rest of the wings. I'm spinning the blades looking at the profile and you can tell if you have one wing out of claw, out of uh, plane with the rest. And yellow seems to be my oddball right now. Pitch and then tilt forward. Okay, 
red bent back and the hair from doing that. See, that's the thing. You got to go grabbing on other blades to do this. Okay. So I need to... I, got, I put a little too much bit in there. This is where the job gets tedious. I'm still looking. Still looking for that good balance between pitch and uh, and plane. Which once you hit it, you'll see when you spin the blades, they all look uniform going around. Ooh, that's pretty close. Just hope I can get this done. in the time I have. Pitching red. Let's see how that works. Now. That's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it tonight. But I'd say that's a massive improvement over what it was. And I'll, honestly, if it wasn't for this loose neck, I mean, you can see how loose the neck is in this fan. Um, it's almost vibration free. And you see how. The blades look uniform going around. Aside from the tape, of course, but I mean, compared to the mess this thing was 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, it's usable now. Alright, I hope I taught everybody at least something, or at least to get started in this. I'll try to make a better video one night and uh, set up my camera, my actual camera and a tripod. This is off my iPhone. But, um, yeah, I hope somebody learned something from it.